All right, Caps Ninjas, what's going on today? Uh, just in the dojo today, what we're doing is I, I'm just playing around with uh, one of my modern day weapons. I'm playing with my uh, my water bottle. Now, uh, I don't know if you've seen in other videos, we, we've actually talked about this in other videos that you can check out. Um, we are talking about some of our modern day weapons, some of the things that we carry on us that we can use for a self-defense situation. All right. It doesn't always have to be uh, nunchuck training or bow staff training. There's all kinds of things that can be used uh, that can help you out, uh, get out of a self-defense situation or get out of an abduct uh, abduction attempt, somebody trying to kidnap you or something like that. All right. And one of those is the water bottle. I noticed this. Uh, these things are super cheap. I got this for like four or five bucks and it's a stainless steel water bottle. It's stainless steel and this one's empty. All right. So what I've been doing is just kind of working on moving around. Like I say, I've, I've got my water bottle and like it, it doesn't have to be a stainless steel water bottle. It's just a regular water bottle. I know some people, a lot of people drink water. It could be a soda. Some people drink soda. It could be your soda bottle, whatever. As long as it's something that you can kind of just uh, strike with, cause a distraction, and help cause your getaway, okay? Cause that distraction so you can make your getaway, okay? So I'm here, and I just kind of got my ball, and I've been just kind of playing around with different scenarios. I've been kind of trying to stand here and kind of just figure out, okay, how do I stand with my water bottle, okay? And I figured out that I kind of stand here with it in my right hand, all right? And, I, and from here, I can very easily grab right here get a nice tight grip because the 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 neck part of it is a lot more a lot more a lot skinnier than the rest of it so i can probably grip it a lot better and from here i can strike and then turn make my getaway okay so it's here Push! And make my getaway all right just a quick distraction Push! and make my getaway and remember whenever you're dealing with something like this it doesn't have to be the hardest strike in the world i don't have to as hard as i can I just have to distract. I just have to hit a sensitive area like the nose, maybe the front of the teeth, the eyes, to cause that head to whip back, to cause that momentary distraction so I can make my getaway. Okay, so I've just been out here playing around with different things. I've also been playing around, what if it's in my left hand? What if it's in this hand right here? Okay, now of course before it was here, I could grab, bam, strike. But what if it's in this hand here and the person comes up on this side? Well, I don't need to split, flip it around. I can still bang, as long as I keep a nice tight grip. And that's one of the importances of this training right here, is I'm actually out here right now practicing hitting push, and holding on to my weapon. All right? Now, there's actually two different strikes I can do from here. I can either hit with the neck part, bang, like, like we do in stick fighting, or I can hit with the bottom part. Push, that right there, like a hammer fist, like the hammer fist motion that we practiced in the past. Okay, so from here I've got my, my bottle. Now, if it's in this hand, you go here, push, and make my getaway. Okay, cause that distraction, push the hand off, whatever that may be, if they, if they have a hand on me, and then make my getaway. Okay, so it's here. Okay, push, and then make my getaway. I have to practice this, okay? A lot of people think, oh, well, that's a cool trick, I'll use that. No, you have to practice it. If you don't practice it, it's not going to be there when you need it. The way you train is the way you're going to defend yourself. Okay? Now from here, I'm going to also practice from this hand here. Push! 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 All right? And as you can see, I'm using the proper equipment, stainless steel bottle, heavy bag. Don't practice this on a person. I know a lot of people like to practice like, oh, well, you know, I want to see the face and everything. Not Use the heavy bag, that way everybody's training safe. All right, y'all, just some little tips with a modern day weapon, the water bottle, all right? I highly encourage, you can do this with a regular water bottle. I highly encourage, especially if you're trying to look out for Mother Earth, I highly encourage you to go out and invest in one of these stainless steel water bottles. They're like uh, five bucks, they're not bad at all, all right? And it's a great investment, especially if you are using it as a self-defense tool. All right, y'all, have a great day.